Persistent pupillary membranes can take uh, one of three different con configurations. Um, in this case, as we saw, the uh, pupillary membranes traverse the iris itself. So you can see uh, the yellow arrow here points to a pupillary membrane that traverses uh, across the iris from one point of the collarette to another. This is fairly common and we can see them single, as a single strand or multiple strands within an eye or, or in both eyes. Another configuration that you can see is a pupillary membrane that arises from the collarette, as they all do, but then attaches or inserts on the anterior lens capsule, uh, leading to a focal lenticular opacity um, in that area, whether it's due to pigment or a little white spot at the insertion point. The third type of uh, pupillary membrane that we can see is one that arises, again, from the collarette, but then um, traverses across the anterior chamber to insert on the corneal endothelium, uh, leading to a focal area of adhesion between the iris and the cornea. In some instances, this can be very extensive, as we see in this particular photograph of a German short-haired pointer dog that has quite a few of these um, uh, pupillary membranes, again arising from the area that would be the collarette, but inserting on the, um, the corneal endothelium leading to actually a white plaque or leucoma um, in the cornea.